course, uh, Joel, the executive director of the Florida Youth Soccer Association. And uh, you would think by now, but with so many new residents to Polk County, they may not know that FYSA headquarters are here or was recruited with uh, Mark and Mark and Bobby Green with the city of Auburndale and a whole bunch of uh, folks that came together to relocate FYSA to Polk County but the multi-million dollar economic impact it is. So who is FYSA? Why is being in Polk County important? Before my time here, I will say, but um, it, we did relocate our headquarters from Orlando to Polk County in Auburndale at the Lake Myrtle Sports Park. And, and I have to say, I say this all the time, there are 54 of our offices across the entire country. Almost every state has a youth soccer governing body like, like ours. And we have to be so, uh, one of the top in the entire country when it comes to facilities. And we are just so fortunate to be at Lake Myrtle Sports Complex. We are the governing body for club soccer in the state. Essentially, anything that isn't your high school soccer is run through our organization. We have over 105,000 members, 14,000 coaches, 7,000 referees that we represent, we advocate for across the entire state. Um, from the Panhandle all the way down, believe it or not, we, we really like to brag about our affiliate in uh, Key West. Um, mm -hmm. They have players, and it, it, it's all housed, administered right here in Polk County and Auburndale. We have a beautiful, beautiful office, and um, again, before my time, but, but, I, but I thank you, Mark, and I thank everybody who was a part of bringing it here because our relationship is just so special, and um, we, we, we see it every day. It's a, it's a fantastic partnership. Well, originally, uh, you know, I think it's sort of, for you, sort of a, a match made in heaven because our longest running partner um, in sports is uh, the Detroit Tigers yeah. and and you're from Detroit yes and so for you I mean it really has to be special I know you're back up in Detroit over Christmas um, and the uh, People's Republic of New York um, <laughs> <laughs> California and the rest of them I guess but um, you know you just had an opportunity to be back up there it's nice down here Oh, it sure is. It sure is. While my passion is and will always be soccer, um, it is so, such a, um, <laughs> it's so ironic that I end up moving to, to Lakeland and mm -hmm. in Polk County, the home of the Flying Tigers. I actually took a vacation down here a decade before moving down here just mm -hmm. to come uh, to spring training. So I can tell you that my, my schedule in the spring, uh, spring down here, is very full with people coming down to visit. <laughs> and I, I've got a plan, my, my work schedule around my family coming down here. And, and, and soccer, of course, is uh, right there with it. I, 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 I love Polk County. It, it's been such a pleasure being here. Well, it, it's been rewarding. You know, there's been a big change um, since you, ta you have taken over. Um, I don't want to say night and day, but pretty doggone close. Uh, the, the quality of the events, the number of events, the, uh, uh, is everything, you know, with FYSA. And for those of you that don't know, FYSA is part of, uh, is a step in between, um, the United States Olympic Committee, U.S. Soccer. So it's uh, an Olympic sport, it's an Olympic-related uh, organization. I mean, that's, you're a young guy. I mean, that's got to be pretty cool to be, you know, the head of one of the largest sports governing bodies in the country, youth sports governing guy at the state level. We, we are a USOPC member um, uh, through our relationship with the United States Soccer Federation, run out of Chicago. We're direct members of them. So many of their standards do trickle down to us, uh, particularly on the administrative side. And, I appreciate you uh, mentioning being young, and uh, I won't qualify for those senior games for a few years yet, but... Yeah, I didn't it, mention Neil, but you're young. <laughs> Neil, I'm you are gonna, getting beat up gonna, today. I'm just going to sit here. It's fine. <laughs> no, no. It, it's I can't a, hear half of it anyway, because I'm so old. <laughs> it, it, in all seriousness, it is such an honor to, to hold my role and represent as many players as we, as we can. It's it's sometimes shocking to, to realize that we have 105,000 youth players who play soccer in this entire state. That, that is such a, a monumental number. And I have to shout out my staff um, for, for having that many players, for having that many coaches, 14,000. We, we only have a staff of 11. And there is a lot of work to be done. And we have got a hardworking staff. You, you mentioned the events. 
Um, we have 14 events between now and June 10th at Lake Myrtle Sports Complex. 14 mm. weekend events, and these all, we, we try to raise the bar. We've got tents out there for all of the teams. We, we, we do hydration. We've got all of the bannering and the flags, so you know it's an FYSA event. We, we try to take cues from our professional partners mm -hmm. in the Tampa Bay Rowdies, um, uh, Orlando Pride and Orlando City. So um, we, we really try to raise that bar and make this really special events for our kids. Well, I think it's important to, we were talking about uh, watching the year in review report mm -hmm. earlier in the show. And again, Mark talks about all the time, these events don't just show up. So if you look way back to the success of recruiting Florida youth soccer here, so those 14 events between, and that's not all the events mm -hmm. this year, but those 14 events between now and June 10th, that economic impact, those teams coming from all over the state, either for a, a competition or Olympic development or yeah. whatever it is, those are dollars that are continuously yeah. coming into Polk County. That's reaching back to past success. Um, we're, we're talking about the Olympic Development Program. That's a training supplement to- ODP, the, right? Uh, ODP, yep. Uh, a training supplement and a possible pathway to the Olympic team. Um, that, that has several weekends coming up. But then our three kind of flagship tournaments are, are going to be uh, in Polk County as well. The Commissioner's Cup, which starts regionally. You, you'll participate mm -hmm. in your uh, A, B, C, or D region and then progress to Polk County where, where we'll host the statewide finals. You've got President's Cup, which is the next step up competitively statewide tournament. Uh, we're running knockout rounds here. We've got only over 200 teams for President's Cup alone that will come here for uh, two, uh, three weekends. They eliminate more teams as they come on. Wow. And then really the crown jewel of what FYSA runs is our State Cup event. This is the most competitive soccer tournament in the entire state, club soccer tournament. Mm -hmm. um, we will host the finals, crown the champions of U13 through U19 uh, right here in Polk County at uh, Lake Myrtle Sports Complex. It's really a pleasure to run it there. The event sets up so well. I would invite anybody from the community to come out. We, we, we try to bring vendors, the, the spectators. I, I'm sure we're running out of time, but I, I've got written down here, we will have over 16,000 spectators uh, just for the State Cup event alone as, as we whittle 16, those. 16,000? 16,000 estimated that, that we will bring um, throughout the various rounds and various weekends to Lake Myrtle. It, the, the event is just, it, it progresses to a regional and national event. It's the largest uh, soccer tournament in the world. And uh, one leg of it starts here in Florida. Wow, that's, that's amazing. And we talk about that impact, but it's literally people just dumping money into the county. It just makes the county wealthier. It's just like somebody would dump money into your bank account and are you wealthier? Well, of course you are. That's what happens with soccer. Mm -hmm. and one of the things that, that we talk about a lot, and one of the reasons that we felt that soccer was such a good match for Polk County, because the, the quality of the game, the discipline of the players playing the game is, is really second to none. But through our research and others' research, the average spend of the of the player that comes in, and you just had a senior uh, yep. adult soccer, which is not part of FYSA, but it's you know soccer event. That sp average spend is much higher than some of the other sports, mm -hmm. and so um, there's such a great benefit there. And, and nobody wants to hear a lecture on the economics of, of sports from me, but the fact of the matter is, it's a good investment for the community socially and economically. So. You know, we're, we're super happy that, that number one, FYS, FYSA is here, but that you're leading the group uh, into the future because I see nothing but blue skies. If you want to talk about socioeconomic impact of soccer, we're, we're going to need another hour or so yeah. here. But I'll talk your ear off about it. it um, oh, it's impressive. It, it, you, you guys did your homework bringing us here prior, and uh, we, we couldn't be happier about the partnership. Good stuff. Wow. A lot going on. Yeah. Well, and I, and I think just, I know we got to go to break, but talking about the uh, quality of life aspect. So when you recruit these or type of organizations like FYSA or you, re, uh, you invest into facilities, there's also the quality of life aspect that the, the local citizens. residents and citizens of They have Polk world-class County facilities exactly. that their children or they, they can part, you know, play on, mm -hmm. participate on, 
and you have a world-class organization that's right. pumping new money into the economy. What the heck is wrong with that picture? We right. hear from local businesses in the community reaching out to us for our calendars, um, mm -hmm. restaurants, hotels, mm -hmm. wanting to be prepared for when we're bringing some of these events here. Um, they, they reach out to us unsolicited. It's a great mm -hmm. community. Great stuff. Hey everyone, if you enjoyed this interview and want to watch more Sports Central, click the video below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.